hello everyone so today we are going to uh, start working on the water drinking part of this uh, uh, survival game so first after waking up from the beach I have disabled the injured animation for now we can run in the village in the island and I have to find water so there is a pond a small pond here and when I go to the pond near the pond I get this drink water message like this first so as you can if you pay attention to the left side of the screen you can see the hydration bar is completely depleted and I, when I if I press E here the character drinks water like this and you can see the hydration bar filled if I drink again now the hydration bar is full so that's the part I'm going to cover today and this episode is sponsored by these generous patrons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving alright so okay this is where we start and so first objective is to find some water to drink and there is of course there is water in the sea but it's salt water so the character can't drink it so I'm going to make something like a pond here so the character has to come here uh, character has to actually walk in the island and then find water so first I'm going to implement create a pond here okay right so how do we start let's reduce fall off and dig a hole here or oh, that's would be too deep I don't need a deeper uh, pit that we can actually swim we need a small water fountain so let's flatten this wait it's too large oh race Maybe we need this a little deep. Okay, so now I'll paint this the rock texture and let's add a cube or oh, maybe a no cube would be all right oh 
okay so this is our water pond so we need to use a water material here for that I think I already have a material here water surface let's create a material insert us m water surface pond Let me modify the parameters. right so here is the water parameter uh, water pond and here's the parameter settings so i'm not going to uh, spend a lot of time refining this water material i want to focus on the functionality so all right mm. okay so let's make define a clear path from here to the water pond so that player can focus on that path and follow uh, it let's set a ramp with 200 would be enough Then 200 would not be enough something like this would be better right oh, no it doesn't look good enough okay that's better right now let's paint some sand layer here I need it to look more like a path so let's paint it like this Alright, this would be clear enough. Yeah, also I don't need to make it very long from the beach to here because the character is already weak and moment speed is slow. So, I want to keep the distance minimum. Okay, so now the path is clear. Uh, we can now write how to implement drinking 
okay for that I'm going to use this animation it's not really a drinking animation but anyway let's go ahead and use it right so let's import that animation in the animations folder I'll create a new folder called activities and here is the drink animation let's import it to this oh. oh no I think I selected the wrong skater let me check okay right so here is the animation I'm going to use um, and another important thing is now including this pond there will be many interactive objects that the character can interact uh, in this world so therefore instead of directly creating a pond object here I'm going to create another let's say interactable object like this a base class basically in let's call this VP interact object right now here well, this could be anything so but uh, an essential component would be here we need a collider like this uh, let's make it a little bigger we can allow editing this later so now uh, here also let's implement another interface like this ppi interactable Now here let's let's implement it later. The functions first I'll add that interface PPI interactable and compile. Now first thing okay then let's go here and create a child blueprint class. I'll call it PP Point now here I'll add this I don't think I can copy this but I can reuse the mesh and the size is this 8.5 8.51 let's copy this okay now go to the point and add a cube file by oh, actually we don't need this to be a cube a plane would be enough eight point five by eight eight point five and the material is this one water surface pond Let's place this in the world. And remove the cube. Okay, so this is the pond. 
Mm, now I'm going to let's modify this collider to match the font size. Let's look at this in the top. This should be editable. Oh, sorry, I removed it before. Okay, now, right uh, now. Let's go to the interactable object parent class and here let's add a new on component begin overlap event and on component end overlap event right now uh, now let's go to our character class and then here I have this BPI character interface implemented. Now let's add a new function set interactable set interactable object. And as the input, I need an actor reference. And the type of actor. Like this. Okay. Now when the player enter this interactable objects collider area let's get the other actor set interactable and as the interactable object I'm gonna give a reference to self if this is the pond then the character will have a reference to pond so if I am when I'm leaving the box I'm gonna set the interactable object as nothing. Uh, like an empty object. Okay. Now when the player enter this area, I'm gonna show something like press E to drink. So to do that, right. So to show that message first uh, let's go to this interactable interface and let's add a function get action so it will return a string Mm, like this press now press E part we can forget about it uh, yeah drink water okay uh, that's the oh sorry action this this is the action and now in the interactable object when I compile I have this so here I'll promote this to a variable action I'll leave it empty for now as this is the generic interactable object and I'll make it editable now in the pond 
I'll set it as drink water. And now when the in the third person character, I'll add a new event graph interactions. Set interactable object. I'll promote this to a variable interactable object and let's do a is valid check here because sometimes because I use this to invalidate the interactable object as well therefore so if it is valid uh, we can get hard how do I show the message a message like this okay all right I already have set up a way to access this here show instruction okay like this so go back to player so first i need a reference to the hard but to get the hard i have to get first get player controller and then get hard so every time i have to show something i have to do this so therefore I'll go to the begin play. Where is begin play? Where is begin play? No begin play. Alright, so then let's start event begin play and paste this. Let's promote this to a variable called hard. now every time I want to use hard I can use it just like this get hard show instruction and I need I can get the instruction like this from the interactable object get action Uh, right. like this and what about the duration so what if I set duration as 0 I think I I'll use like five seconds. And if the player if this is not valid, then I'll sh uh, call another show instruction uh, without any instruction. So I can hide hide whatever the instruction I get. <laughs> okay, so to test this, is that all we have to do? Uh, yeah, we have to implement actual drink in action. Uh, but first, let's see if we get the. Uh, action and everything we need I'll skip this part well 
will not record the walking part well it's hard to test like this so uh, so I'll reset these values to origin values and also change the instead of injured animation let's use this one the oh, not that one the normal animation so we can run to the next part easily right we got the notification oh and we should disable the collisions for this we don't need any collisions yeah so no collision <coughs> okay right uh, now and here I'll do a slight modification like this get action and here within brackets I'll use E so that is the key for let's add a new input here as a interact and for the key I'll assign E from keyboard and now here instead of using E like this I can get the actual keyboard input we have some way to get input key binding um, uh, right like this get input settings and get get key no get action right like this get action mapping by name and here use interact so mappings we can so this is a list of keys but actually we need only one key here mm -hmm. get zero and split key we can get the key like get key display name all right like this so now let's collapse this to a function like this get input key and let's make this a PO function so we can use it like this and let's promote this to a parameter okay now get input key for interaction so it will return whatever the key I have assigned so even if later I implement a way to change the input key 
or customize for player I wouldn't have any problem there so right that part is done oh wait a minute we need to have a space let's add a dash here okay compile and now actual interaction so for that let's under the ah, we can interact action event like this okay when I press interact <coughs> first I can check if there is a valid object interactable object if yes I can call uh, oh, we need to define the function to start interaction so here I'll add a new function start interaction and later on we might need another function to interrupt interaction as well but I don't think I would need that here now so right start interaction and I'll give a character reference as well interacting character Now, in the BP Interactable, in the event graph, I can define start interaction event like this. But here it doesn't do anything. So let's go to the point event graph and start interaction. Well, uh, actually, I don't think I need to do any changes when I interact with the pond uh, here. So all I have to do is play in a drinking animation. So therefore, here in the get action, I'll add another parameter, any montage and I'll call this action montage uh, no 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 this is not the way I want to do it oh we can do it in here right we let's now I can get let's promote this to variable character and we can play animation montage and I'll promote oh wait we could do this in the in here in the parent character yeah promote to variable I'll call it action montage target must have a connection uh, 
right we don't need it now okay so we should do this only if we have a valid action montage right now let's go to the activities and drink i'll enable root motion for this one because Uh, because I don't want the character to move while we play this animation <coughs> so now in the in the pond uh, let's create an anime montage here like this and then for the pond for the action montage I'm gonna assign this drink montage right now when I press interact here start interaction let's call it like this and for the interact and actor I'm gonna give a reference to self action uh. right now let's see oh I forgot one more thing so now as I am using this animation montage uh, animation blueprint here I haven't set up a way to play montages so let's do it like this all right okay so I removed um, injured walking behavior because I want to go faster to the Pond. Oh wait, project crashed. Why is that? Okay, so I restored the changes. Actually, I had to redo the changes because I haven't uh, saved the project. But anyway, so now I can actually do it go here uh, I have disabled the collisions here again drink water now it drinks water so the next part is how to actually increase the hydration bar so now let's go ahead and do that first let me disable the collisions of this Uh, sounds but first we need to set an attenuation setting so let me duplicate this now we have to create attenuation settings uh, let's create a new one ATTN character uh, because this would be a smaller one fall of distance let's just leave the default values I don't know hydrogen character for this one also hydrogen character right now where is that animation for that 
animation let's play this sound that's the sound water splash and then here drinking sound slurp okay and uh, to actually increase the hydration level of the character uh, we have character properties are huh? right we can use this okay so let's go to the point and let's override start interaction and here uh, let's add a do once node because uh, I don't want the character to be able to continuously press E and drink uh, multiple times without finishing the first drinking animation. So, right. And add a call to parent function. And then uh, add a delay of let's say one second and then uh, we already have a reference to character get character because we are setting that reference in here character uh, uh, character properties hydration so let's add 0.5 to that and then uh, add another delay of 2 seconds and reset this alright let's see You're thirsty, find some water. Alright, let's run run to the point. This is easy because I already know where the point is. Okay. And yeah. You already saw this bar filled and it is full okay so that's what I wanted to do today and with that I'm going to stop this episode so character can run into the pond and start drinking so now in the upcoming episode so first I want to uh, just like before I want to start this character weak in the injured state and then when he come here and after drinking then there should be something like a bench here and the character should rest there so after that the game will be saved and in the next time uh, when the character wakes up uh, he will be only then he will be uh, well that means not in the injured state he will have the normal walking all right so with that let's finish this episode and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club the link would be in the description below and also the first project file release of this project will be available through 
the patron page and uh, thanks for watching see you in the next episode goodbye also feel free to check these other stuff that i am doing here as well